We got a Noel in front of us. I know. It's the G-Man. For real. All right, Cameron uh, versus Noah here. Sorry, Peppy versus Swoon. Um, Puff versus Falcon. It's really... I, if you ask me, at a low level, um, you know, at the level a lot of us Dayton players are at, it, this matchup's hard for Falcon, I gotta say. I mean, unless you just know the matchup real well, I feel like it's difficult. But, uh, I feel, uh... Yeah, at that low level, but if you're a Captain Falcon main, yeah, you gotta, I think, you gotta I think, work on that. I, yeah, I think I know. I think you know. You should know how to do it because uh, back when Chunk, me and Chunk used to play, uh, I would catch him slipping every once in a while, and like I'd go, I'd go neck and neck with him. I don't think I beat him, but he ended up leaving. But yeah. I definitely feel like I would have inevitably had been able to beat him. But uh, yeah, I believe it is slightly in plus favor, and but for Captain Falcon, like you can really make it work. But the way that Spoon is trying to play it right now, this is not how you should be playing it as Captain Falcon. Going for grabs, a lot of grabs. Yeah, you don't want to do that because he just goes right under him. You really want to just be stomping her when she's grounded. Mm -hmm. And you want to just be up airing and back airing when she's in the air. I feel like I like when I see Captain Falcon's doing that full hop slow drop and mixing it up with fastball nares and catching Puff with the second hit of the nair. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Anything to just really uh, get in between her timing, you know? Yep. yep. That's really what you're trying to look for is uh, any opportunity when Puff is like... Because there's, there's certain patterns and rhythms to what she does, just like every character. Oh, that is... Barely made it back very, there. Very lucky he didn't capitalize on that. But uh, just like any character, there are patterns in what she does. It's just that... Her patterns allow her to like slip away slightly more than most characters. You know, that aerial take, drift. take you out of that that uh, that threat zone from the other character. And Peppy with the uh, easy edge guard, forward air on the jump recovery, stalling out a little bit here. Yeah, no, he knows uh, Swoon very well, and he's, he's playing the game. He's playing to win right now. Uh, I believe he is in his head like swimwear right now and getting comfortable, getting acclimated. I'm taking his first stock though. All right, yeah, Gets you know. a little know. edge cancel here. I'm moving somewhere. But man, those grabs, dude. Those grabs are going to kill him. And Peppy yeah. didn't necessarily capitalize on it right there, but the immediate jump when you're off stage, that right. could be scary when, when too. When Captain Falcon's in that situation, you're puffed. You want to jump back on stage and uh, down there. You want to drill that, get a grab, get a rest, do something with it. Just keep him in that hit stun, throwing away, like I said. Uh, Peppy is in there like swimwear. And this first game is looking like uh, it's going to be his down payment for his new condo luxury apartment in Swoon's Money. Because, uh, you know, he's, he's playing to win. He knows how to get to him. And he's, he utilizes capitalizing on it. And Swoon is just going to throw it in there. He just wants to go to the next game, get this going. Maybe, you know, he could figure something out in that game. Uh, last time when I played Swoon in tournament, loser side, it was 1-1. Uh, we went to Pokemon, third game. And I had, I got, I got a two-stock advantage, and he was on his last stock, so it was three stocks to one. And I ended up dropping it, bruh. He reversed it on me. And I really feel like it was because I was just overextending and putting myself in a situation that yep. I didn't need to. Well, you see how Peppy is just kind of very slow and, and oh, you know, I, taking his time. Very non-engaging. Yeah. yeah. It's a complete, uh, nope. in complete, utter juxta juxtaposition to uh, Swoon's style of play right here. And I'll just say this. He's lucky that Peppy hasn't pressed down B. Yeah, he's really taking the... Because the that's gen. the real morale killer, you know? Yeah. Every player should be able to, like, you know, withstand and tough out those edge guards, man, because those happen. You're going to get edge guards by Puffs, man. Like, the, those rests, man, those, those, those are really what cut deep. Because you put in all this work, you did all these button clicks, all these presses, just for one instantaneous option to happen. An interesting choice with the Nair from Peppy... I like how Swoon's moving a little bit more now, but um, he's just putting himself in iffy situations, like right there, for instance. He didn't have to. And he's about to get Ed Guard. He's going to get Ed Guard. Yeah, I told you, he's going to get Ed Guard. Yeah. 
But uh, he has a stock advantage right now, and you see he's just running at him. I'm running out. He needs to just chill out. Stop Find running his at him. Take his time. He needs to let Puff approach him because that is Puff's weak point is approaching. She has a horrible approach game. Uh, a fair kill. Yeah. yeah Swoon up with the stock lead here. If he can just start maybe taking his time, finding his hits. Okay. Less grabs here because you can see how Capepi's playing, which right here, the, that double jab to knee, obviously, you know, mm -hmm. you, a lot better than he was playing before. Okay, there oh, it is. Oh, yes. There it is. Wow. Capitalizing on that mid-air dodge. So he's trying to rest, and you see this Peppy right there himself getting a little bit too uh, too eager. I got to say, this feels like the opposite of the it last is. game where it Cameron three-stock, you know, Noah, and now it's, oh, and it's now it's, now it's Now it's Swoon's turn. Now he's trying to get his three stock. Yep. And he might get it, but again, with these overextensions, he will not. He should never. Uh -uh. Yeah. Purple back air. Yeah, he takes those. I wonder if Peppy will just take his time now. I wonder if he's just going oh, he to really slow it down here. He has to. And force Noah to approach and, and you know, take those bad that options. That was an E right there. No, at least an up air. He might. Yeah, that might be oh. it right there. But That's Swoon. the stock. Oh my goodness. Look, please just stop running at him. Stop running He's just at gotta him. He's got to be slow with his stop approach Stop running here. at him. Please stop it. Up air. Don't back air. Up air. There you go. He's jumping, jumping right next to Puff there when Puff can get below you. is terrifying. Yeah. He needs to be... Like, okay, okay. I like this. He's dashed in the middle of the stage yeah. at least. I wouldn't want to do that. That's Take just, his time. Whenever I'm Puff and someone's like not protecting the ledge like adamantly and you're dash dashing in center, that's just an international uh, signal, right? Yeah. Like a nautical yeah. signal. That all sailors and seamen know that is it's okay to land. <laughs> Come, they're flagging down. Come, Come on, on in. in. Come on in. Come on down. Land the ship right here. But Man, going into game three, and I gotta say that last game was really scary when Noah started full hopping a lot. Man, there. really close. But uh, we'll see what they can make of this Sloan last game. Going, going ahead and clutched it out. You know, you don't really like to see those kind of situations when you're having to clutch out when you had a lead. Like, there we go with the stomp. That's stomping. good. That's yeah, good. That's stomping. good. That's good. You want to do that. Okay. You want to do that. He got rid of the grab. Now he just needs to be up airing and back airing while he's off stage. There you go. We got these people in front of us, but we still see. And Peppy mistakenly does not go for the rest. If you ever in your life get a dab reset, you always get the rest. Always. Unless you're at a high percent, you know the rest match can kill, but Sloan is going to accidentally SD right there. Oh, my goodness. If he can clean up his stock real quick. I don't uh, think he can. I don't think he can. I don't think he can. Oh. He read, he read roll away. I'll say that. But Puff's roll is so, it's so, so short. So short. Oh, just flat out knee. Okay, he's wa he's waiting though. I, I like that he's waiting. That's now. what he needs to do. And he's and he's going for more for more stomps. He's not being overcommittal as much. It might work out for him. But you see, Peppy's now kind of stalling him out a little bit more now. Yeah. He's also waiting. You got Both you. willing to wait. And that's it. Oh. Not quite. He was getting on stage. Yeah, Peppy could have definitely at least sang canceled. Did something. Back air doesn't kill. But uh, not, not even a back air back onto the stage. I, I usually would have at least had I've done that if I see that the Captain Falcon, whoever's recovering, is going to the stage. And he's back airing like crazy. I'm hearing it quick, quick. Gets a grab. Back airing. Gets grabbed. That's a knee. That's an up air, actually. Up air is going to take it. 1-1 one, one right now. Peppy down one stock and he's trying to fight him with his four feet, but he needs to use his back toe. A whole six dollars. And there it is. He needs that big toe. <laughs> Between the front feet, now the back toe. Hey, we got two stocks apiece, though. Yep. And then oh. he's going to get that knee. Get another. Oh, he could have need that. Could have need that. That's been a healthy need. Cameron really going for these. Cards. Oh, and, and Cameron really just not knowing what to do when he gets stomped on shield. 
misses the jab reset because of the tech, but he's trying to get something. He's trying to fish for these rest setups. And he's he gets staying, just when, right. when you stay in one place on the ground for too long against Captain Falcon's puff, you're gonna get need. You're gonna get need, you're gonna get stomped, you're gonna get hit. And he's trying to get edge guard, he's gonna whiff the F smash, but again, another knee. Another stomp, and he whiffs with a forward smash as a miss input. Definitely a shield drop knee, but Peppy is trying to find his stock right now. He wants to stay on winner's side, and he's going to get it right there. I feel like a dash attack would have easily worked there in that situation, but he goes for the back here. Still gets it. Still gets it. And Swoon just needs to be chill. Has a cucumber right he's now. He's taking his time. He there it wow. is. Wow. One more. Power shields the pound. I mean, it feels like he's just ready now. He, he just had to have that first game, you know, to kind of warm up a little bit. But now and he's kind of Peppy, cooking. Peppy would as the potentially. No, he but he gets edge. back. Puff has a crazy recovery. He almost ran out of gas. Mm -hmm. The rolls. His tank was dev. He only had about a quarter tank at that moment, but oh, Peppy is jumps, man. He's really fishing right now. He, he's really just trying to force. Force an opening, but with Puff, you just gotta be chilling and and let it happen. Oh no! Oh, miss input. Oh no! Miss input. There oh, it is. Oh my god! god. All what I say. The most deep cutting effect. God. 